Every year, more than 12 million vehicles are dismantled around the world. Cars that once crossed highways and cities are now becoming the main source of recycled steel for modern industry. Few people realize it, but the steel used to build a new skyscraper or a massive bridge might have come from a car that stopped running just a few months ago. Behind this cycle lies a massive engineering operation. Shredding machines, electric furnaces and automated production lines work together to turn what would be waste into pure raw material. The car recycling process moves billions of dollars every year and drastically reduces the need for mining. It is proof of how industrial manufacturing has evolved to combine efficiency and sustainability. But how exactly does an old car turn into new steel? Today, we are going inside one of the largest car recycling factories in the world to follow each step, from dismantling to smelting, and discover how technology gives new life to millions of tons of metal every year. Steel is one of the most recycled materials on the planet, and a large part of it comes from end-of-life vehicles. When a car reaches the end of its journey, it enters one of the most efficient industrial chains in the world. The Car Recycling Factory In the United States alone, more than 12 million vehicles are dismantled and reused every single year. Inside these massive plants, nothing happens by chance. Each vehicle goes through a digital inspection, serial number registration, and component analysis. The goal is to identify everything that can be reused, from the engine to the glass, before the rest goes to the shredders. The car recycling process is a highly precise operation that blends mechanical power with automated technology. This level of organization turns scrap into valuable raw material. On average, 75% of a car's total weight can be recovered as steel, aluminum, copper and glass. The result is a constant flow of metal ready to return to industry. This is where the cycle begins, transforming millions of old vehicles into new steel every single year. When a car arrives at a recycling plant, it is not simply destroyed. The process begins with digital registration and inspection. Technicians check the vehicle identification number, VIN, model year, engine type, and overall condition. All the data is stored in a central system that tracks the vehicle through every stage. Next comes the removal of reusable components. Engines, transmissions, batteries, and electronic systems are carefully taken out by hand. These parts are sold to the replacement market or sent to specialized factories. In hybrid and electric vehicles, lithium-ion batteries go through a separate process designed to ensure both safety and environmental control. With the valuable parts removed, the car moves on to the fluid extraction stage. Fuel, oil, brake fluid, and coolant are drained using high-pressure probes and stored in underground tanks. Nothing goes to waste, many of these fluids are filtered and reused within the plant itself. Only when the vehicle is completely dry does it move to the next phase, structural dismantling. After the full drainage process, the car enters the structural dismantling area. Here, hydraulic arms and pneumatic tools remove doors, windows and panels in sequence. Each part is separated by material type. Steel, aluminum, plastic or glass. The goal is to reduce weight and prepare the structure for compression without any risk of explosion or contamination. Tires and wheels are removed first. The steel from the wheels goes straight to the foundry, while the rubber is shredded into granules used in asphalt and industrial flooring. Next, laminated glass from windshields is cut out with precision tools. This material is made of two layers of glass and a PVB film, which is also recovered and reused in acoustic insulation. With the interior stripped, the car body is cleared of wires, seats and panels. Cables are separated to recover copper, while plastics and fabrics are shredded for chemical recycling. This stage is essential to ensure that the remaining steel is pure and ready to be melted without impurities. In just a few minutes, the vehicle becomes a clean metal shell ready for pressing. The metal frame moves on to the pressing area, where hydraulic forces of up to 200 tons compress the car into compact steel blocks. This process reduces the volume by up to 90%, making transport and storage much easier. Depending on the plant, the machines can compress between 20 and 40 cars per hour. The result is dense, uniform cubes of metal ready for shredding. In smaller facilities, the method changes. Instead of compacting, cars are flattened into metal sheets. The energy consumption is lower, but the resulting blocks are less dense, requiring more power from the shredders. Each technique is chosen according to the space and scale of the operation. The key is to make sure the structure reaches the shredder free of impurities and with uniform density. Next, the compacted blocks enter the shredding line, the heart of the process. Inside a reinforced chamber, steel shafts with interlocking teeth rotate in opposite directions, tearing the metal into small pieces. A modern shredder can process up to 150 tons of scrap per hour. 
In seconds, the car that once occupied a parking space turns into fragments ready for metal separation. The metal fragments travel along an automated separation line. Industrial magnets first remove the carbon steel, while eddy currents pull out the aluminum and copper. Vibrating conveyors and optical sensors classify the remaining materials, such as plastic, rubber and fabric. The entire process is continuous, ensuring that every material type reaches its correct destination without the need for manual intervention. The separated steel is pressed again into compact bales and sent to the foundries. Aluminum and copper are delivered to specialized industries, where they are melted and refined into new products. Nothing goes to waste. Every pound of recovered metal reduces energy consumption and the extraction of natural resources. This is the peak of efficiency in the auto shredder process, where tons of scrap are transformed into reusable raw material. Non-metallic residues are handled differently. Rubber and plastics are sent for chemical recycling or used as alternative fuel in industrial furnaces. Fine metallic dust and small particles are collected through filters and reused in secondary alloys. What began as a discarded car ends as a nearly waste-free cycle, ready to return to steel production. The recovered steel blocks are transported to the foundry, where the final transformation takes place. Inside electric arc furnaces, currents of tens of thousands of amperes reach temperatures above 1600 degrees Celsius. The steel melts quickly, forming a stream of glowing liquid metal. Lime and other additives are added to remove impurities, while laser sensors monitor the metal's composition in real time. When the steel reaches the ideal point, it is poured into continuous casting molds. The molten metal flows through sealed channels and is cooled with water, solidifying into long bars known as billets. These pieces, several meters long, are automatically cut by thermal saws and labeled with identification codes. Each billet becomes the base for sheets, coils, or structural parts used in new industries. Next, the billets go through the hot rolling mill, where massive steel rollers press the material until it reaches the desired thickness. The process combines heat and force to shape the metal into thin, durable sheets. After controlled cooling, each coil is inspected by high-resolution cameras and ultrasonic sensors. The steel is now ready to begin its new life, purer, stronger, and fully recycled. From an old useless car emerges a new production cycle. Recycled steel moves to construction plants, automotive factories, and steel mills that shape the future using materials from the past. Every dismantled vehicle represents saved energy, reduced emissions, and preserved natural resources. The car recycling process is more than an industrial operation. It is a key mechanism of the modern economy. The efficiency of this system shows how modern manufacturing can balance technology and sustainability. With automated processes and strict control, Factories turn scrap into high-value products. From every shredded car, steel is reborn, ready for new structures, bridges, rails, and machines. What was once transportation now becomes the foundation of global infrastructure. And to think it all begins in yards full of forgotten cars. In just a few hours, each vehicle is converted into raw material for the future. It is the perfect cycle, dismantling, melting, rebirth. Proof that industry can turn waste into productive power. From an end-of-life vehicle to the steel that supports buildings and bridges, this journey reveals the power of modern industry to transform waste into valuable resources. Every recycled vehicle represents saved energy and tons of ore that no longer need to be extracted from the earth. The production process is so efficient that more than 70% of the original material is reused, reducing both cost and environmental impact. Automotive recycling is one of the most important engines of the global economy. The combination of mechanical strength and digital technology allows millions of tons of recycled steel to return to factories every year. From the engine to the last bolt, nothing is wasted. This is the true cycle of industrial manufacturing, where every recovered metal piece fuels production once again. Now tell me in the comments, did you ever imagine that an old car could be reborn as new steel? Like the video, subscribe to the channel and keep watching factory videos that reveal the hidden world of engineering that keeps our planet in motion.